वेलकम टू क्रिएटिविटी इनोवेशन एंड लीडरशिप चैप्टर नंबर एट यूनिट नंबर एट कलाबोरेशन स्ट्रेटजीज ओवरव्यू फर्म्स मस्ट ऑफन चूज बिटवीन परफॉर्मिंग इनोवेशन एक्टिविटीज अलोन और इन कलेबोरेशन कलेबोरेशन कैन अनेबल फर्म्स टू अचीव मोर एट अ फास्टर रेट एंड एट लेस कॉस्ट एंड रिस्क हवेवर कलेबोरेशन ऑल्सो इंटेल्स शेयरिंग कंट्रोल एंड रिवॉर्ड्स and may risk partner malfeasance the advantages of going solo are compared with those of collaborating and then different forms of collaboration are compared in this chapter reasons for going solo a firm might choose to engage in solo development of a project for a number of reasons first the firm may perceive no need to collaborate with other organizations it may possess all the necessary capabilities and resources for a particular development project in house alternatively the firm may prefer to obtain complementary skills or resources from a partner but there may be no available partner that is appropriate or willing to collaborate a firm might also choose to develop a project as a solo venture if it is concerned that collaborating would put all its proprietary technologies at risk or if it seeks to have full control over project's development and returns whether a firm chooses to engage in solo development or collaboration will be influenced by availability of capabilities does firm have needed capabilities in house does a potential partner have these capabilities In 1970s Monsanto developed powerful herbicide but killed plants unless applied carefully they needed to develop plants that could resist herbicide to make it easier to apply and use in larger quantities biotech industry was still young and there were no appropriate partners who had the knowledge Monsanto went solo protecting proprietary technologies how important it is to keep exclusive control of the technology firms sometimes avoid collaboration for fear of giving up proprietary technologies because working closely with a partner might expose the company's existing proprietary technologies to the competitors abjects needed cash and access to development and marketing capabilities it did not have but it would have had to give up exclusive control over drugs development if it collaborated with others eventually it went solo controlling technology development and use how important is it for firm to direct development process and applications honda did not join the alliance of automobile manufacturers which was fighting against tougher fuel and emission standards pragmatic reasons for example the new technology is expected to yield high margins and the firm does not wish to share rents or these margins with collaborators Honda felt it would limit their discretion over the development of environmentally friendly autos which Honda wanted to be a leader in cultural reasons for example a company's culture may emphasize independence and self-reliance Honda's culture emphasized retaining complete control over the firm's technology development and direction Honda's president Yoshino said it is better for a person to decide about his own life rather than having it decided by others building and renewing capabilities is the project key to renewing or developing the firm's capabilities boeing's philosophy about development of sonic cruiser enabled it to develop more capabilities in their industry advantages of collaborating collaborating can offer the following advantages obtaining needed skills or resources more quickly reducing asset commitment and increasing flexibility learning from partners sharing cost and risks and it can build cooperation around a common standard this figure here shows that the worldwide formation of strategic technology alliances are rising from 1980s to 2003 there is a significant rise in these collaborations types of collaborative arrangements there are numerous types of collaborative arrangements each with its own advantages or costs strategic alliance Strategic alliances are formal or informal agreements between two or more organizations or other entities to cooperate in some way. The conclusion or the end result of a strategic alliance is the active cooperation of firms within an industry to reduce output and rise prices to avoid economic law of supply and demand. Choosing between the different types of collaborative arrangements involves trade-offs. 
The more a company depends on collaboration, the more likely it is to lose decision-making control. How much control a company is willing to give up will influence its choice of collaborative arrangements. Similarly, companies with prior international experience in a country are less likely to benefit from partners' knowledge of the market. Reasons to form an alliance Companies or business units may form a strategic alliance for a number of reasons including obtaining or learning new capabilities, obtaining access to specific markets, reducing financial risk, reducing political risk. Strategic Alliance Success Factors It is important that a company or business unit that is interested in joining or forming a strategic alliance considers strategic alliance success factors listed in the table below. Strategic Alliance Success Factors Have a clear strategic purpose. Integrate the alliance with each partner's strategy. Ensure that mutual value is created for all partners. Find a fitting partner with compatible goals and complementary capabilities. Identify likely partnering risks and deal with them when the alliance is formed. Allocate tasks and responsibilities so that each partner can specialize in what it does best. Create incentives for cooperation to minimize differences in corporate culture or organization fit. Minimize conflicts among the partners by clarifying objectives and avoiding direct competition in the marketplace. In an international alliance, ensure that those managing it have comprehensive cross-cultural knowledge. Exchange human resources to maintain communication and trust. Don't allow individual egos to dominate. Operate with long-term horizons. The expectations of future gains can minimize short-term conflicts. Develop multiple joint projects so that any failures are counterbalanced by success. Agree on a monitoring process, share information to build trust and keep projects on target, monitor customer responses and service complaints. Be flexible in terms of willingness to renegotiate the relationship in terms of environmental changes and new opportunities. Agree on an exit strategy for when the partner's objectives are achieved or the alliance is judged as failure. Types of collaborative arrangements Joint ventures A particular type of a strategic alliance that entails significant equity investment and often establishes a new separate legal entity. So the result of a joint venture usually is the creation of a new legal entity. Licensing a contractual agreement that gives an organization or individual the right to use another's intellectual property, typically in exchange of royalties, that is used for patents, copyrights, trademarks, and other intangible property. Outsourcing When an organization or individual procures or buys the services or products from another rather than producing them in-house. Collective Research Organizations Organizations formed to facilitate collaboration among a group of firms. Franchising A specialized form of licensing includes providing an intangible asset and continually infusing necessary assets. Franchising is often associated with US fast food companies like McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Subway, KFC, etc. But in fact, many international franchisers are from other countries and sectors. Companies can expand in foreign market using individual franchises or by setting up a master franchiser which then establishes sub-franchisees. Success of a franchise depends on number 1. Product or service standardization. Number 2. Customer identification through promotion. And number three, effective cost controls. Therefore, companies need to be sure that operational modifications don't compromise what the company has to offer. Turn key operations. A company contracts with another to build complete, ready to operate facilities. This is most commonly performed by industrial equipment, construction, and consulting companies. It is also performed for government agencies. Turnkey operations are often very large, running into the hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars. For example, a turnkey project run by Spain's Scar Velhermanso involves building a wider Panama Canal. 
Choosing and monitoring partners. Partner selection. It is important to have a strategy for the selection of a partner. Partner selection. Resource fit. How well does the potential partner fit the resource needs of the project? Are resources complementary or supplementary? Strategic fit. Does the potential partner have compatible objectives and styles? Impact on opportunities and threats. How would collaboration impact bargaining power of customers and suppliers, degree of rivalry, threat of entry or substitutes? Impact on internal strengths and weaknesses. Would collaboration enhance firm strengths, overcome its weaknesses and create a competitive advantage? Impact on strategic direction. Would the collaboration help the firm achieve its strategic intent? Partner monitoring and governance. Successful collaborations require clear yet flexible monitoring and governance mechanisms. It may even utilize legally binding contractual agreements. It helps ensure partners are aware of rights and obligations. It also provides legal remedies for violations. The contracts often include what each partner is obliged to contribute, how much control each partner has in agreement, when and how proceeds of collaboration will be distributed, review and reporting requirements and provisions for terminating the relationship. Choosing a mode of collaboration. Firms should match the trade-offs of a collaboration mode to their needs. The table here shows on its x-axis the different characteristics that are important in collaboration and on the y-axis it shows the different types of collaboration modes. So let's look at each one of them. Solo internal development. The speed here is low. The cost would be definitely high. All the control would be with that same firm. Potential for leveraging existing competencies will be high. Potential for developing new competencies will also be high. Potential for assessing other firms' competency will not be there because the company is operating alone. Strategic alliances. The speed here varies. The cost also varies. Control will be low. Potential for leveraging existing competencies will be there. Potential for developing new competencies will also be there. And potential for assessing other firms' competencies can sometimes be there too. Joint ventures. The speed will be low. The cost will be shared. The control will be shared. The potential for leveraging existing competencies will be there. The potential for developing new competencies will also be there. And you can also get a chance to assess other firms' competencies. Licensing in. Speed here is high. The cost will be medium. The control will be low. The potential for leveraging competencies is sometimes there. Developing new competencies can also be there sometimes. And you can also get a chance to assess other firms' competencies sometimes. Licensing out. The speed will be high. The cost will be low. The control will be medium. The potential for leveraging existing competencies will be there. The potential for developing new competencies will not be there. And the potential for assessing other firms' competencies can sometimes be there. Outsourcing. The speed of outsourcing collaboration ranges from medium to high. The cost is medium. The control is medium. The potential for leveraging existing competencies is sometimes there. The potential for developing new competencies is not there because now the firm is dependent on another firm a supplier and the potential for assessing other firms competencies is definitely there collective research organizations the speed is slow the cost varies the control varies as well the potential for leveraging existing competencies is definitely there the potential for developing new competencies is definitely there and you can also get a chance to assess other firms competencies if you are involved in collective research organizations this marks the end of this chapter thank you very much